Alrighty, we are back with test number five. So I talked to technical technical support on the forums, and he recommended that maybe I should move the light meters a little bit closer. So I moved them as close as humanly possible without, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much just most as physically possible for a light meter, so that the comparisons will be as close as possible as well. So anyway, uh, as you can see, the Cyber Commander is mounted sideways. It's iconic L358. Again, for reference, got to do it. Uh, it's eight feet across, 50 inches up to the two light meters and the Einstein with the seven and a half reflectors over there. And so let's start this test. Uh, FYI, this Einstein is on, but I'm just using it because it's dark right now. So let's go ahead and first set this into metering mode or light detection mode. Actually, I should do that last. First thing we needed to do is to calibrate the Cyber Commander. And I just want my tripod, here we go. So make sure, first I need to make sure that the calibration is zero, which it is, okay. And now I need to go down to the advanced configuration and hit factory calibration and use the default setting right here. So left thumbstick, so go ahead. And now it says, uh, original factory calibration has been restored, so cool. Now let's start the test. So the Einstein is at minimum power, uh, 1 125th of a second, ISO 100, sorry. It should say it here too. And let's turn on the Siconic into flash detection mode. And there it is. It's pretty ghetto, but it works. Anyway, so here we go. And I'll just read off the numbers as they come. So I'm getting F1 and 9 tenths. Actually, the more important one to watch is the Cyber Commander. So here we go. So F1 and 7 tenths. And the Cyber Commander is not detecting anything. The Siconic is still metering F1 and 7 tenths. So let's scoot up. That here's good. And we'll continue the test. So. The Cyber Commander is at 1.1 and uh, it's fluctuating like crazy. It's fluctuating between 1.4 and 7 tenths, 1 and 7 tenths, less than 1. And the Siconic is at 1.4 and 1 tenths. And it's fluctuating between just a tenth of a stop. Yeah, so it's 1.4 and the Cyber Commander is kind of jumping all over the place. Anyway, let's keep moving. So here we go again. I'm getting 1.4 and 9 tenths, that famous kind of locked number for the Cyber Commander. And it's metering appropriately with the Seikonic L358, which is 1.4 and 8 tenths, so both are spot on. Just Probably a tad off, but nothing to cry about. Move it up just another inch or so. Now we're getting F2 and F2. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. And the Cyber Commander is still locked in at 1.4 and 9 tenths. All right, so here we go. Moved up significantly. I'm now metering F2.8 and 5 tenths while the Cyber Commander is at 1.4 and 9 tenths. Again, this is that major, that measurement that keeps, I guess, locking in a place when the Cyber Commander can't meter in between 1.4 9 tenths and F4 and 4 tenths. So we're getting a stable and consistent 2.8 and 6 tenths. Pretty stable, I'm just gonna keep firing. So, 2.8 and 5, and Cyber Commander is not changing. So what I will do is cover this up. So. I covered up the light meter and we'll re-meter again. No change. The Cyber Commander still is uh, stuck at 1.4 and 9 tenths. So, by now, since I've done this test so many times, I should be getting F4 and 4 tenths on the Cyber Commander. And right on cue. F4 and 4 tenths. And F4 and 6, 7 tenths. So, but again, the Cyber Commander is not changing. So, it, it, I feel like the light meter is going into like default modes 
You know what I mean? Like at a certain threshold, it'll stop and get stuck on that measurement. Anyway, moving on a little bit closer, we're getting F8 and we're getting F11 on the Cyber Commander. So F8 is pretty consistent, F8 and 2 tenths on the Seconic. Uh, the Cyber Commander has no change, it's still locked in at F11. And we're still in at F8, so we'll move it just a tad bit closer. And now the Seconic has is metering at F11, and the Cyber Commander is ahead of itself. So now it's metering at F11. Now we'll move it up just about an inch or so away from the flash or the reflector, and we'll continue this test. So now we're getting F22 and 7 tenths on the Cyber Commander and F22 and 1 tenth. So now it seems like the Cyber, Cam Cyber Commander is waking up and metering that tenth of a exposure while the Seconic has been doing that pretty much all the time. And lastly, let's move the, uh, the meters right into the dome as close to the flash tube as possible but Again, it's like about an inch away from the dome. And we're getting meterings of F22 and 8 and 9, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and what are we getting here? F22 and 9, 8, F32. So again, the Cyber Commander and the Seikonic are really close together. However, there's certain points where both the, Psych uh, where both the Cyber Commander and the Seikonic will don't agree with. Like there's there's in between points where the cyber commander really doesn't register, and then once it gets past that threshold, it starts working again. Whereas the Seikonic just kind of keeps metering and chugging along. So anyway, that's the comparison between the Seikonic 358 and the Cyber Commander. Again, I metered with the domes as close as physically possible. Otherwise, I'd have to like you know solder and do all that stuff, but I don't want to do that. But yeah, hope you enjoy this, and yeah, thanks for watching.